So this is a quick walkthrough that we've created and in order to export it we need to be in this view. If we're in another view, say a floor plan or a 3D, um, then it's not going to actually let us export it. So you have to be in the walkthrough itself. In order to do so, we go up to the application menu, go to export, images and animations, and then walkthrough. So here I can control my length and format. By default it's going to want to export all the frames. If I want to specify a range I can control that here. Also I can control the speed at which my rendering will play at through my frames per second. And 15 is probably the minimum you want to go without making a really choppy animation. You can increase this and by doing so you'll notice that your time is getting shorter so you may need to add some more frames if you want to keep the same length movie and a good frame rate is anywhere between 15 and 25 if you get any higher say 30 you're getting more into movie DVD quality but I would recommend keeping things at you know a smaller frame rate just so that you don't have to export out so many frames to keep uh, a decent length of uh, animation. So besides modifying our frame rate, we can also specify our graphic style. And to start off, it's going to be in hidden line mode, which is probably a good one to use when you're when you're first testing your animation. You also have wireframe mode, shading, shading with edges, as well as rendering and this one obviously is going to take a lot longer and if you also have your shadows turned on in the view then it's definitely going to increase render time so for right now we don't have shadows turned on and I'm just going to export a hidden line view and I want to actually see what my animation is going to look like real quick and then I can go back in and render with with shading and actual rendered views if I want to my dimensions are controlled here. These are my pixels, so it would be 900 pixels wide and 675 pixels high. My zoom is set to 100%, so if I wanted to scale things down, I could go ahead and adjust that. There we go. Once I'm ready, I can hit OK and this brings me to my export box and I also have a few options here let's say that I wanted to jump back into my options I could click this right here and go back to my previous dialog box if I wanted to specify a different format I would do that here and by default it's going to give me an AVI format which is a video format and you have options of compressing this or not. We'll go over that in a second. Also, you can choose different image files. And what this is going to do is export out a series of images in these types of formats. And you will need some type of compositing, video compositing software to compile those, something like Premiere or you can even do it in Flash, you know, just to name a few. We're going to say AVI though. And I'm going to save. Now, what it's asking is if I want to compress it. And to start off, if I don't have any video editing software, then I probably would want to use one of these compression tools so that I can keep my file size down. If I am going to be able to modify my video afterward, I would leave it as uncompressed to get a better quality. And all you have to do is say OK. And now it's just a waiting game. So this shouldn't take more than a few minutes, really, because we're in hidden line mode. If you're doing some of the more complex renderings, then it definitely can take some time, especially when you go into rendering.